Hey everyone, so this is a video I've been wanting to make for quite some time. Uh, it goes right in hand in hand with the wide receiver video I made, except it's not on wide re receivers, it's for their defensive counterpart, which is cornerbacks. So of course, when, I, when it comes to the free agency series, I'm going to be covering free agency from now all the way until the end of free agency, which, you know, the, the heat of free agency ends in, I believe, right around mid-March. Um, or well, that's when it starts, so I'll be covering it until then, I'll cover who we sign, and then we go right into draft, and then from draft, we just kind of sit there and wait for the season to start, um, so the next two months, there's going to be a lot of content, a lot of analysis, a lot of players that we should get, and, um, you know, to better our team, and of course, this is the free agent side, so we'll be covering players that are currently free agents, now, just because I make a video on a certain position, that does not mean I think we have to go out and sign one of these players for this certain position or we're going to die of course you have the draft which may be a better um thing to use for a player like this for a corner because they're young they're automatically young but i digress um either way today we're going to be doing the top free agent targets and today we're doing corners uh I, i'm going to let you guys know right ahead of time that i do have a patreon if you would like to support the channel during the off season go ahead and um hit the link down in the description if you do but with that being said, let's go ahead and start the video. So the first player I'd like to talk about is the one that's actually sitting there looking at you on the screen right now, and that is Brian Poole. Uh, many of you may not know who this is because he currently plays for the New York Jets, but many of you might think his name sounds a little too familiar, and that is because he is a former Atlanta Falcon. They're, they're the reason that... You know, the New York's defense was serviceable was for a lot of reasons, but Brian Poole was a really, really, really big reason that they were serviceable. He put together a fantastic campaign in 2019, racking up 52 solo tackles, an interception, and allowed 33 receptions on 53 targets. Poole would be a great addition for the New Orleans Saints because of one thing. He is a fantastic corner on the boundary. One of the Saints' strong suits has been the ability to protect the inside slash slot, um, you know, position where where that needs to go. But besides Lattimore, our boundary defense has been absolutely terrible. We've had players like Eli Apple. Don't even get me started on when uh, Pat or PJ Williams had to play the boundary because of Eli Apple being injured. That was absolutely disgusting. So. Second corner has been the reason for our lack of boundary success. It's seen improvements with the uh, inclusion of Jackrabbit, but with Eli Apple and PJ Williams both being free agents, the not so apparent need for some of you in the corner position is going to be a very, very apparent need extremely soon. Now, I understand we have Jack Rabbit, and many of you may probably prefer keeping him, but if we have to stick with Jack Rabbit's contract, cutting him and signing Pool to a similar priced deal would be a way better move. Pool is a lot more talented as far as longevity goes. He literally is only 27 years old compared to Jack Rabbit's 31 and he has shown an extremely good upside um this year he had a I believe it was a 79 on pro football focus which is actually extremely good good corners are extremely hard to come by so I wholeheartedly hope we make a move for someone like Brian Poole he's marketed around 13 million per year but he will not get that if we were to sign him it would look like Jack Rabbit's 2020 cap hit in a sense um, I just think if you're going to go ahead and sign somebody, it should be someone that you're going to keep for a couple of years. Brian Poole could be a very solid, and I mean one of the best number two corners in the league if we give him a contract for many years. And that's the difference between him and someone like Janoris Jenkins. He can last for years. He's only 27. He's still got a lot of gas in the tank. My number one for the corners to sign is... Brian Poole. Does that mean that's my favorite? No, but that's that's number one on the list. Let's go ahead and move on to number two. Number two, we have Bradley Roby. Now, I personally be, personally believe that Bradley Roby isn't the greatest of corners. He's actually maybe a number two at best, um, as far as potential goes, in my opinion. Who knows? Maybe he needs a change a change of scenery. But I haven't seen anything too impressive from him except for when he played in Denver for a year. 
or one of the years he was in Denver. I know he played for multiple years, but regardless, like I said, having Eli Apple and PJ Williams both becoming free agents creates a dire need for corners just in case, God forbid, injury happens. Bradley Hope, Roby would be an amazing insurance policy. He had a decent 2019 campaign, sporting a 66.8 pro football focus grade, picking off two passes and, and notching 34 solo tackles. Along with this, while targeted 60 times, Bradley Roby allowed 37 receptions. Like I said, it isn't that bad. But in the case of the New Orleans Saints keeping Jack Rabbit, a player like Bradley Roby would be one I would enjoy signing. He won't be too expensive as his market clearly isn't that high, but he has a ceiling that is fairly high depending on if he actually decides to play good or not. I've seen him do it in Denver one year. Let's just hope he can do it again if we do end up signing him. Signing Bradley Roby to a $5 to $7 million a year deal as a premier insurance policy slash rotational player could give our secondary another element that could push us to to the next level i personally like i said don't believe that bradley roby is a premier corner um, i believe he's a premier insurance policy and rotational player but when it comes to you know taking a majority of the field time from whoever else could be in that number two position i don't really see it happening maybe if uh we let go von bell and chauncey gardner johnson needs to be a, a safety um signing a corner like him to play in the slot would be extremely well i know he did a very good job playing slot with during his time in denver but when you think about it I don't think Von Bell is going to be released. The only sensible way to incorporate another corner would be as an insurance policy. Um, and Bradley Roby is just that, an insurance policy. I think he can start in a lot of cornerback needy teams. But the New Orleans Saints having Marshawn Lattimore and, at the moment, Janoris Jenkins, we don't need somebody like that to start. And now my third player, who is the cover of the thumbnail, who is a dream signing for me that I'm not really 100% sure if it has the potential of coming true or not. That player is Jimmy Smith. And now some of you may be thinking, oh, he's old as dirt. I don't care. Jimmy Smith is an extremely talented corner. I mean, Jimmy has the top five cornerback talent in the league. He could be a top five cornerback if he could stay healthy. But like I said, he has a tough, a tough time staying healthy. Along with that talent comes glass bones, forcing Jimmy Smith to miss at least one game in every season since 2015. Either way, behind Byron Jones and Chris Harris Jr. that want way too much money, Jimmy Smith is the most talented corner in this free agency class. He may not have had the greatest 2019 campaign, which comes to our benefit as you know, not, as not having top tier performance on their contract year makes them cheaper. But he still has talent that NFL corners dream of. In 2019, Jimmy Smith notched 28 solo tackles, intercepted a pass, and only allowed 24 24 receptions on 47 targets. A pretty nice ratio, in all honesty. Jimmy has the size at six foot two, and at the speed he ran a 4.42 to be a huge asset to this team. But this is more of a dream sign. Jimmy Smith would look good in the black and gold, but I really don't know what his price range for this team would be. I'm assuming, like I like I said for um, uh, Brian Poole, something similar to Janoris Jenkins, but I think Brian Poole would be a little less. Um, there are a lot of great free agent corners to sign. Like if you go look at it, I'll, I'll look it up right now and I'm going to read off this list. And once I read off this list, let me know who we should go ahead and make a try for. So these are the ones that are relevant. Byron Jones, James Bradbury, Chris Harris. Those three are going to take too much money. Darquise Dennard, Bradley Roby, Jimmy Smith, Kendall Fuller, Brian Poole, Ronald Darby, Prince of Mukamara, who just got released, by the way, Mackenzie Alexander, Trey Waynes, Mike Hilton, Kevin Johnson, Logan Ryan, Tremont Williams, Ross Cockrell, Javian Elliott, Arthur Moulet, Jane Jalen Mills, Daryl Worley, and Josh Norman. Uh, keep to leaves a free agent too, but who knows how much money he wants. The, it's just a very deep free agency class for corners I didn't really know who to pick but Brian Poole uh, Bradley Roby and Jimmy Smith when it comes to looking at the situation of the New Orleans Saints in my opinion fit the most for me uh, we don't have the most amount of cap space but a corner is a need especially if one of the many teams that are interested in Eli Apple snags him up we're going to need somebody to replace that depth quality uh, Eli Apple's a very quality depth corner he can start in many places so 
yeah, uh, cutting Janoris Jenkins, if we do decide to make that move, will save us a lot of money. But there will be a glaring hole once again in that number two corner. Do you guys think we need to address a corner in free agency? Should we wait till the draft or should we just tuck in our tails and keep Janoris Jenkins, even though I think he's a very good player? Let me know down in the comment section below. It's always nice to hear you guys' opinion. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you boys in the next one. Adios. Make sure to leave uh, suggestions also. Suggestions mean a lot, I promise. <laughs> Peace out, everybody.